We're going to begin our service this morning by having prayer. And there's many people on our prayer list that needs our prayers this morning. We have our family focus uh, to be prayed for. It's uh, Todd and Glenda Oliver. And they have two children, Ian and Don. And also an unspoken request and Terry May and Bessie Hillier and family. And we're going to remember those folks today in our prayer time. And also remember all those that are on our prayer tree, that the God will comfort them. And those that are mourning recently, we ask that God will comfort them today as they mourn the loss of their loved ones. And let us, we're going to sing the chorus number 22 in our course book. And we'll be on the thing there. Jesus, I long to be like you, loving in every way. Jesus, I need to be like you. Please hear me as I pray. You are my pattern for living. Your way of life is my goal. Patient and kind and forgiving, under the Spirit's control. Transformed by life from within, Lord, come and my heart be found. You are my pattern for living. Give me a love like thine. Let us sing that as we, and after we sing it a couple of times, I will come before God. Jesus, Lord. You're always dear. 
here to lift us up above the shadows and place our feet upon that solid rock, which is Christ Jesus. We love you this morning, Lord, because you first loved us, Lord. You paid the price on Calvary. You suffered and bled and died that we might have life and have it to the full. We give you thanks this morning, Lord, because we're able to come and worship, Lord, without any interference, Lord. We thank you for this great company of ours, Lord, where we have freedom of worship. And we love you, Lord, today, because we know, Lord, that one of these days we're going to look upon your lovely face and tell the story saved by grace. We're looking forward to that day when all tears shall be wiped away and we shall live and reign with you throughout the countless ages of eternity. We know, Lord, when we look around our world today and we see the things that are happening, Lord, we know that you send your word to look up because our redemption draws nigh. Help us, Lord, to be ready, washed in the blood and sealed with a stamp. And may your Holy Spirit move in a mighty way that we will see souls saved, Lord, and sick bodies healed. We know, Lord, there's many hurting people up and down this shore, Lord. And we pray, oh God, that you will send a mighty revival, Lord, that people will come in, Lord, The young people will come in and fill these pews, Lord. And that your Holy Spirit will move up down this shore, Lord. Move in the hearts of your people, Lord. Send a mighty revival is my prayer this morning. We pray, O oh God, that you will be with the one who breaks the bread this morning. We ask, O oh God, that you will endure them with power from on high. May your Holy Spirit move in their heart, Lord. And as we listen, Lord, may the Lord sink deep in our heart. We ask, O oh Lord, that you will do a mighty work in our midst, Lord that souls will be saved. And we pray for those, dear Lord, who's been mourning recently. We ask, O oh Lord, that you will comfort them. We know, Lord, that you are the great comforter, Lord, and you promise, Lord, to be a husband to the widow, Lord, and a father to the fathers. And I pray, O oh Lord, you will be just that to them today. We ask, O oh God, that you will be with those that is on our prayer list today. That special unspoken request, Lord, you know all about it, and we pray, O oh God, that you will touch whatever it is, Lord, that is the need, the need is. We pray, O oh God, that you will meet that need in the heart of that person. We thank you of Bessie Hillier at this time and her family. And we ask, O oh God, that you will meet her need and whatever it is, Lord, we pray that you will touch her body, that you will touch her soul, that you will lift her up and give her strength from day to day. We think of Terry May at this time, and we pray, dear God, that you will bless him, Lord, and may your Holy Spirit move in a mighty way in your lives. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in our midst, and we know that one of these days, Lord, we're going to know thee who thou art, the Lamb upon the throne. We pray, dear Lord, that you will be with everything that takes place here today, every song that is sung, Lord, and the reading of your Holy Word. And we ask, O oh God, that you will move in a mighty way, and we will give you all the glory and the praise. In Jesus' lovely name we pray. Amen. Amen. Listen to that verse once more. 